Hey guys, this is the last installment of our story and strategy series. We're going to be talking about my race, my favorite race, the race I play, the race I love, the race I worship. It's the Zerg. <laughs> Zergs are formed by several different types of creatures. Integrated into the swarm, these creatures or lineages were selectively evolved to become the most effective killers and to assist the Zergs in their quest for total power. Zergs do not use technology in the ordinary sense, nope, nah, -uh. but their weapons and natural armor are comparable to the more advanced equipment used by any other species. There's a reason I saved Zerg for last. This is going to be the hardest one to decipher. We all know they're bugs. We all know, you know, Cer Cerebrate, the Overlord, the Overmind, blah, 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 blah. We all know about the crystals. Fuck you and your crystals, right? <sighs> but there's actually a deeper meaning here. So we already know that the Zerg are designed through natural selection and through the control of the Cerebrate. And that makes them the most effective at any given task. But think about it. Every tool in the Zerg arsenal is very, very specialized. We don't have the general options available to Terran or Protoss. Maybe with the exception of Lings. But even Lings aren't that great um, mid and late game against Protoss, right? So everything specialized and everything changes based on the matchup more than any other race because we are specialists every single thing in the zerg army was evolved for a particular purpose so the lings are your fast vicious units with high metabolisms that you know burn off a lot of energy and eat a lot of energy that makes them vicious fast strikes and like we talked about before it allows them to knock, like an example of Ter or vs. Terran, to knock marines off of tanks to allow more expensive, more important units to come in and do the dirty work. Another example would be banelings. You could never naturally evolve a baneling except for a specific task from a pretty sadistic and cruel agar burr, whatever that motherfucker's name is. Um, but yeah, that guy in the, the Heart of the Swarm um, expansion that's doing all the evolution, he was sick. Like, think about it. A Baneling would never evolve because it could never reproduce itself. The moment it goes to touch another Baneling, bleh! I mean, we've all exploded like that, but it's not the same context, guys. Anyways. Hydralisks. They're very, very, very niche units. Like, if you don't have something to tank, which is also a niche unit the glass cannon that is the hydralis is going to fail uh so the roach is there to provide that think about um infestors infestors don't do a lot by themselves no spellcaster does but at least in a terran and protoss context it makes sense why they're specialists but this is a natural selection evolutionary path where specialization can be very beneficial think of like you know the the underwater creatures that live in like you know 3000 degree heat under like in, in the deepest parts of the ocean but ever to try to take one of those bacteria out of that area they don't survive very well whereas the zerg survive in every possible environment or at least the bulk of them do so that's it's fascinating to me that everything's been evolved for the zerg so they're really specialized And they're not that great at fighting, believe it or not. Think about it. You're better off as Zerg doing a counterattack than sh forcing a straight up engagement. For the most part, you just want to stall your opponent while doing damage elsewhere. And that kind of fits this, this guided evolutionary path as well, because we know that the Zerg like have a voice in their head that tell them what to do and it keeps everything coordinated. That is a process of their evolutionary path. It's a process of the things we've been talking about. If that didn't exist, like if that mind, that controlling mind didn't exist, why would a pack of lings go run into a Terran base at the exact moment that the Terran is leapfrogging outside of the Zerg base? It wouldn't happen. 
So everything in either of these three races, but even most particularly in Zerg, are all mechanics as metaphor. The game plays exactly the way the story was designed. And I have no idea if that was intentional or not. But it is a testament to how amazing Blizzard is as a company to be able to pull something like this off. Thanks guys, I'm Shaf of Polygon Gaming. If you like this content, please like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like it. Typically we do uh, something a little more hard educational, but I want to do a little soft education just to um, mix it up, give you guys some variety, and maybe bring some new audience members in. Thanks so much guys for your time. See you next time. Bye bye. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.